The Riavaya bus rapid transit system has swiftly transformed the face of public transport in the city of Johannesburg. Since its introduction in August 2009, it has faced up to the daunting challenge of ferrying daily commuters across the city as well as to provide world-class transportation for the 2010 World Cup. The World Cup and the exposure that the World Cup gave to the Riavaya system in terms of communities that traditionally are not Riavaya users beginning to get on the buses and getting really excited uh, about Riavaya and the contribution it's making to a broader transport plan. What was absolutely amazing was just how so many people who don't usually take the Riavaya were taking the Riavaya and they just loved it. And they talked about it in the newspapers and they talked about it on TV and there was um, the Secretary of FIFA and Danny Jordan also and all those beauty queens going on the rear bus. It was, it was wonderful. Um, but it was also a bit of a low light because in fact we, you know, because the way rear Vi works, we couldn't offer our commuters a service at that time. And after the World Cup, in fact, our, co our commuter numbers went down. But we are slowly rebuilding our, our service numbers. The objective for the introduction of Riavaya went beyond the provision of transport for the 2010 Football World Cup. Riavaya came about through extensive research and planning by the city's transportation department in response to the ever-growing transport needs of a rapidly expanding Johannesburg. The Riavaya BRT has set a new standard for public transport in Johannesburg and indeed in the rest of South Africa. It is a signal that the government is committed to and can deliver quality public transport, of course working together with the stakeholders. With Johannesburg being South Africa's economic hub, it necessitated a transport system that would support its role in the national and international economies. Added to this, there was a need for a spatially integrative and inclusive transport system. In keeping with global trends and standards, the system would have to be safe, affordable and universally accessible. This alone would go a long way to attracting commuters to public transportation and away from traffic intensive private vehicles. Quite early on, the city of Johannesburg decided to collaborate with the taxi industry by making Riavaya exclusively accessible to the industry as a business venture. The city's transport department sought to learn from cities that had successfully implemented bus rapid transit systems. The purpose of the trip was really uh, that this was a follow-up visit based on an initial trip that the department had undertaken uh, in 2006, um, around August, September 2006, to investigate the feasibility of bringing the bus rapid transit system to, to Johannesburg. In relation to the industry, to see what benefits the industry can have there, how, how do they operate that site, how do we operate, is there any linkage, is there any improvement that we can copy that site. So the initial trip was really to, to just have a look at the system and whether this would be something we would have been interested in. I mean, you can imagine all we know is taxi, bus, train in South Africa, you know, and it was an opportunity to see different public transport systems, to see different uh, diverse cultures, you know, link into transport. So the trip that we've returned from then in 2007 um, was an opportunity really for members of the taxi industry in particular um, to witness the system, to meet other operators um, who like themselves had been part of an informal uh, transport sector and had then progressively graduated into a formal transport sector. It's also not about transport, it's, it's about social fiber of the communities and how the community, the socio-economic, you know, situations linked to transport, you know, for us that was, that was very interesting. Having returned from the trip then, we did recommend to council uh, that council consider 
uh, moving from the strategic public transport network that was part of our approved ITP uh, and on those SPTN routes uh, bring in fully fledged bus rapid transit. A key feature of Riavaya is its seamless integration with other modes of public transport, creating an inclusive value chain that comprises feeder buses, taxis, light passenger rail and private transport. The introduction of Riavaya has been in phases, commencing between Ellis Park in Dorenfontein and Togoza Park in Soweto in August 2009. The 25 and a half kilometers that currently makes up Riavaya has 33 stations and uses large buses with a capacity to hold 112 passengers. There is support for this main service in the form of complementary and feeder routes which use smaller 75-seater buses. Riavaya stations have contributed to the changing landscape across Johannesburg. With their distinctive design, complemented by award-winning artwork, they provide an easily accessible, welcoming and spacious shelter for commuters. Interspersed along the routes at regular intervals, the stations are also quite safe and secure as they're consistently monitored via CCTV cameras within a dedicated control center. Both stations and buses are also designed to be easily accessible to the elderly and people living with disabilities. Riavaya is the single largest climate change project ever undertaken by the city of Johannesburg and shows tremendous innovation in how the city addresses congestion, pollution and greenhouse emissions caused by transportation. Through Riavaya, air quality will be dramatically improved since the new buses run on low sulfur diesel and the most advanced pollution reduction equipment. Even the current paper-based ticketing system for Riavaya will advance to an electronic dispensing system during 2011, further contributing to a cleaner and greener city. Riavaya was groundbreaking in more ways than merely realizing an integrated transport infrastructure. It brought about a pioneering partnership between local government and the local taxi industry. This project is a catalyst for broad-based black economic empowerment, especially as it relates to the question of empowering people in the taxi industry. We remain committed to ensuring, through an intensive negotiation process, that the shareholders of the bus operating company must be the taxi owners who were previously running their taxis tex tex on these routes. We want to see the taxi owners become proud and indeed entrepreneurial skilled bus company owners. There have been highlights and lowlights in the taxi negotiations. Obviously whenever you reach agreement it's a highlight, um, but there have been times we've been quite far apart. The issue is about saying there's a need to change. You know, we can't go on like this forever. There's a need to change, and change is pain, you know, but there's a, there's a need to change. I think as a credit to the, the team, both on the city side and the negotiating team side and the facilitator side, um, the negotiations have never deadlocked or completely broken down. The city of Johannesburg's milestone partnership with the taxi industry was bolstered and crowned with the signing of a memorandum of understanding between the city of Johannesburg, the Greater Johannesburg Regional Taxi Association and the Top Six Taxi Association at the end of 2007. The impact of the Riavaya BRT will be fully felt in the future as the completion of all phases materializes. The city has begun to move, journeying a step closer to integration and inclusivity. There have also been visits by delegates from major cities around the world who shared their thoughts on Riavaya.
We think that Rayavaya, the BRT system, is a real model for Africa. Well, this is the first BRT in Africa. The city is doing some great things. I mean, the, the Rayavaya BRT project is really terrific. It had a great uh, advanced press, and it lived up to every word of it. And some of the uh, footpath improvements, the sidewalks we saw out in Soweto, uh, particularly near the home of Nelson Mandela, are really beautiful. And it's very exciting to see the quality uh, of both the system, uh, the extent of the system, the beautiful buses, the stations that are so well done, the integration uh, into the communities, the artwork. The incorporation of art is fabulous, you know, in the station design and also in some of the streets. Uh, that's really important to create a sense of place. As the city of Johannesburg enters the second phase of the Riavaya BRT construction, one cannot help but admire the tenacity, guile and perseverance that it has taken to bring the Riavaya story thus far. There is still some way to go for the city to have a fully-fledged and functional world-class transport system, but the journey certainly continues.